So the first question that uh, we're kind of looking at tonight is um, thinking about three critical aspects that have to do with uh, social issues, um, political issues, things that are at the heart of East Jerusalem. My name is Riyan Barakat uh, and uh, I run a company called Experience uh, Palestine through which I uh, allow uh, others uh, the opportunity to come uh, and meet with Palestinians both uh, in East Jerusalem and uh, in the West Bank cities like Ramallah, like Bethlehem. Uh, art is, is one field in which I uh, expose people to. I'm from East Jerusalem, I grew up in, uh, in East Jerusalem and uh, one perhaps of the main challenges in East Jerusalem is sort of the lack of clarity with regards to identity and uh, that's, that's an issue that is, uh, we, we as East Jerusalem residents neither have a Palestinian passport nor Israeli passport and therefore uh, our, our connections are, uh, are torn apart. The challenge of kind of defining identity uh, of being in East Jerusalem because we're in this space of in between. <laughs> if I would uh, sort of like answer that from how can residency be relevant, mm -hmm. that is one answer, you know, to, uh, to keep and, and create something in the city where people can, uh, can stay and where artists can, can uh, be uh, agents of. Uh, Social, uh, social change, uh, creativity, uh, urban uh, renewal uh, that will keep people in the city. We have a very conservative culture in, uh, in East Jerusalem and uh, definitely, you know, as, as this way mentioned, for, for women it's even, uh, it's even harder. And, uh, and to kind of like reach out for uh, universal values and express uh, universal values against the, again the need to kind of be, be, to go beyond the uh, the gender the, the nationality and so on and and see sort of a more universal perspective uh, is is very is very much uh, needed. Oh, and Ben is working. We can do it together. Wow! Wow! Too hard, but so it's very yeah. sentimental. <laughs> But in that, in that regard, yes, and that's kind of like going around both east and west. So. Okay, Come is a human rights organization that well, works in a specific um, uh, uh, field, field, field uh, which is uh, planning. Uh, what we do is um, we uh, try to make a survey and make understanding to uh, what is going on the ground in the uh, field of planning. Mm -hmm. And we try sometimes to be the this coordinator between the authority and the, the, the residents. Mm -hmm. And we try to make a change. We try to make the life uh, maybe better uh, by using different tools. We object for the, for example, the plans of the uh, settlements. Uh, we stand like uh, mm -hmm. we, we 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 are trying to uh, be to the side of the people who are weak, who don't have uh, a way how to um, give out their voice. The voices, mostly the voices and the authorities, uh, the voices are healed are the voices of the men, not the women. And so the children the, and the the the, the children mm -hmm. are also. Not on the map. I think that the schools, the issue of the schools, and what we can do in the schools, is to change. As artists, I'm talking about. As artists, we can be a big part of them because they can support them. They can give them tools to help them to places that are very beautiful. National parks are. Left without any investment, without anything, and uh, people inside the neighborhoods they need these areas for a uh, place to live. But also we can turn them into a place that people can go and have a uh, good time. I basically do art and expressive art, and uh, I try my best to help people 
as much as they can express themselves and uh, find their beauty, find some beauty in this awful life that we all live under, an awful situation that we all suffer from. And um, I can tell that so many people are so beautiful and so many people find the beauty in their work and so many people have um, um, have found uh, some creativity and found how they creative can be when they let the, themselves. The biggest issue is the checkpoints that separate people from each other. This is this is the monster, I you believe, that exists. And the checkpoint, uh, it's not only that separates people, the checkpoint um, makes life miserable sometimes and people can't connect. If you don't pass through it every day, it's really hard to imagine mm -hmm. how harsh and how crueler and how uh, awful it is. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, the social living inside East Jerusalem is not the easy thing. The conditions, you say? The conditions, what the political mean? situation and the, the economic situation. It's like a ghetto inside mm -hmm. the city. I mean, there is no one could come to Jerusalem from West Bank unless they get the permit mm -hmm. or they are over 50. Like talking about checkpoints, if you can place them or some kind of uh... <laughs> These are not the rules, this is the wall. So the other issue that interests me a lot, and this is my, gonna be my PhD focus, is the teenagers. Mm -hmm. And what happened recently, during the last two years, not only in Jerusalem, also in West Bank, when these teenagers went out to the checkpoint to stop soldiers, it just made me out of my mind. Teenagers, we're talking about 13 years, 12 years, 14 years, what the hell teenager wants to do? How, how the teenager thinks about freeing Palestine and which kind of... Um, mm -hmm. Which kind of thinking the teenagers have right now to take this step, to take the knife and to stab soldiers? Mm -hmm. How come they think that they're gonna free Palestine this way? The first thing is the uh, resources. The uh, Arab the, uh, areas are suffering from uh, a lack of resources. The second thing is uh, uh, the agenda of uh, uh, teaching in, inside the schools, the Arabic schools. I find a, a, a real problem not teaching the Hebrew uh, in those uh, uh, schools because I believe that uh, if we are living together here in Jerusalem as Arabs and Jews and... Uh, language, uh, just something yeah. like the basic that's missing. Yes, you know, the uh, Hebrew uh, language is, uh, is needed for the people to uh, understand their uh, reality and uh, to deal uh, better with the uh, uh, official uh, offices and the government itself and the people who live in there. They can have a better communication. Really, I chose this thing to try to help people understanding or learning or really pushing them to know Hebrew. So they can deal better with their, yeah. with their life. Inviting us to think about there's many different aspects from questions of where, where in Jerusalem, does it need, where do we even think to locate this, to questions about what kind of artists to bring, mm -hmm. to questions of like what would be some of the focus, does it have to do with working, if it's about community, if it's about activism, like uh, planning <coughs> issues, really design some kind of aspects of, and programmatic aspects, um, organizational aspects that you think could help to mold a residency that can benefit East Jerusalem.
and the focus uh, uh, better to be on education. The focus is to be in the street, and the fun is to be in the street, and not just in the street, and not 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 in the street. To take out the arts from uh, closed and uh, intimate places to outside, to the street, the street. Okay. to widespread so public, it more, public, public, public spaces. to the public. Yeah. So, just to be more specific, so the kind of artists that you envision, so let's say right now we're thinking about a residency in Sawia that involves some kind of uh, work that has to do with going to people's homes, homework, support after school, some, some oh, kind exactly. of activity. Um, you, you imagine this mostly uh, international artists or Palestinian artists that are coming? Both. 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 Mm -hmm. Also Jewish artists. Mm -hmm. All like all the all yeah, images. Lo local images. We have already uh, really the, the Palestinians and they live the situation. So yeah. it would be very interesting to have uh, internationals. We also have Jewish, Jewish, Jewish Israeli, Jewish Israelis, yeah, not Jewish Israelis. Ah, Israelis. Israelis. <laughs> okay. Jewish Israelis. Yeah. Because the Jewish, they do get volunteers, Jewish volunteers, all over from all over the world, but you don't get. Israeli volunteers or Israeli artists. Yeah. Okay. So that's so that's a, that seems like a really important. It's very thing challenging. I mean, it's a fantasy. I I I can't guarantee. I mean, I can't guarantee, but I'm almost 100 percent sure that none of them will agree to go there. But let's imagine don't that. Know. We don't know. Exactly. We don't know. Let's imagine. I, maybe if I'm invited to Sawia to <laughs> <laughs> I I can't. My house is open. <laughs> so this is the first. Step. <laughs> See, so there's already an artist visiting in the house of Zayim. It's not far from what they just talked about. I would like to see an art, a huge art center where people can come and do art and all kinds of people from... Huge, but it's, it's, huge. It, has, it has presence. It has to be big where people come and get a space to do art and do music and do, mm -hmm. do dance, uh, do paint and do drama or art. So all of the mediums together? All the mediums together. But I also would like the people who run the place, or the artist people who run this place, also to go out to the areas and go and seek, seek the people outside of that building. So it could be both in and out. And I believe in the street art, in the, in the outdoor art, in the um, reaching and seeking the people outside the center. But it's good to have a center, uh, an address, to know that I can go there and I can do stuff there. Um, of course, I believe that in order to have this kind of place, we have to have artists who run the place, not only educators. Mm -hmm. They have to be an artist, and if if they have both, if they have both, if they are educators and artists at the same time, so this will be a privilege. And the wall goes. Yeah. Okay. Around the heart. Yeah. Oh, and another color, maybe with yellow. Maybe we have some. Okay. Would be. Okay. Okay. And so, so what's behind? What? I mean, the Silwan Isawiya. There is only checkpoints, but Kufur Akab. But you have the also the checkpoint, but you have you know the actual sea. So that's the, the wall, wall itself. It's kind of behind the wall in this sense. Yes. That's separate in the middle. 